Hey guys, Justin here from Arcdyne Security. I'm going to do a quick tutorial video on terminating a uh, RJ45 end on a Cat5 cable. Uh, this process would be pretty much the same for Cat6 cable as well. Uh, you're going to need uh, a couple specialized tools, one being your RJ45 crimper. Um, then a pair of electrician scissors is great, but a sharp pair of you know household scissors will work just fine. Then obviously a uh, Cat5 cable and an RJ45 end. So let's get started. All right. So you have your Cat5 end here and the RJ45 connector. Uh, first step is we need to take off the outside sheathing of this cable here. So go ahead and take your scissors or, or even a sharp knife and we're going to rotate them around the sheathing until it just scores it, uh, maybe cuts through a little bit. Um, that is enough that now when you bend it, you can see it now cracks open there. And then with a little bit of force, it will pop right off. Um, this string is just in here. If you need to strip off a long um, piece of this sheathing, you can take this and pull and it'll split it. In our case, we're not gonna use it, so we can go ahead and just trim it off right at the end there. All right, next step, we need to take all the pairs here and untwist them. All right, now that we have them all untwisted, we need to put them into uh, the proper order. Uh, the order I commonly use is orange, white, orange, green, white, blue, blue, white, green, brown, white, brown. And as I do this, I'm kind of pinching and bending at the same time. That gets all the little waves out of the wire like that. So orange, white, orange, green, white, blue. I'm also holding them with this this hand to keep them flat and in order. And then blue, white, green, and brown, white, brown. And one good trick to get these all snugged up next to each other and flat is to pinch them with this hand and come in with this hand and I'm going to bend them like this, in plane with uh, the, the kind of how they're arranged. So you grab them like this and then bend them like that back and forth, it snugs them up together. And you can also bend them down. So I'm bending them like that, back and forth. So now they're all nice and snugged up together. I got a couple crossed here, so I want to trim them from that point. Um, I usually go about a half inch, about a, say a finger's width. So half inch to three quarter inches. And we're gonna trim them all off even. Like that. All right, so now we have our end all nice and ends of our cables all nice and uh, trimmed off. We're going to insert them into the channels. So there's little channels inside this Cat5 connector that each one of these wires will sit in. And then you want them to butt up against the inside, um, kind of bottom out, so to speak, in the inside of the connector. So clip down with the orange away from me. Um, you can do it either way. I just, this is the way I do it, and I do it the same way every single time so that I know I'm doing it the same. And then insert the cables. So I got all the little wires in each channel. I'm double checking my order orange, white, orange, green, white, blue, blue, white, green, brown, white, brown. And then I'm going to push them all the way in. I typically will hold the cable like this. So I'm putting pressure backwards pressure on the connector to hold it on. And then I also check the end right here to make sure that I see uh, kind of, you know, the copper, the shiny copper of the uh, each wire uh, up against that kind of uh, window, if you will. 
So once I know everything's in order and I've got good kind of pressure and, on, and all the wires have bottomed out, it's time to crimp it. So take your crimper, insert it into the RJ45 slot and crimp it down. And then once again, after I crimp it, I will look and see and make sure that all the wires are flush up against the inside um, of the connector and that each one of these blades uh, was depressed fully. Um, another thing to note is that it's usually good practice to get the shielding past this pinch point. When you crimp, there's a little piece of plastic that folds down and catches the um, catches the, the, the wires to keep them from pulling out. Um, it's usually good practice to try and get the shielding past that. Otherwise, over time, the shielding may work its way back, which just weakens the cable. Um, but doesn't necessarily mean that it's, it's not going to operate properly. So there you have it. That's how you crimp an RJ45 cable. If you have any questions, feel free to reach out. Uh, hit us up on chat or give us a call, and we'd be happy to help. Thanks.